Welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually outside this grand building, a building of dreams. It's called The Birch and we're outside of North London in Cheshunt. Now there are so many ways to describe this place. It's not just a hotel that I'm staying at. It's also a creative hub, a place you can come and work, a place you can host meetings, have social events, there are restaurants dotted around, there's a Lido, there's so many things for you to do here to be inspired. There's so many outdoor spaces, places to eat, places to chill out and I'm going to give you guys the best tour ever so you can see everything now it's amazing but it's also a membership place you can become a member here and you can reap the benefits of everything that's on offer also when you actually book a room to stay here you're technically a temporary member like I am today so I get to go every space work take pictures use the screening room do whatever I like eat wherever I like and even dip my feet in the Lido let's go inside so I can give you the best tour of this amazing space people come down here and chill out with their work because it's so cozy it's like a warm feeling and there are pops of color everywhere they also actually have an art exhibition going on at the moment so there is gorgeous art jotted around and you can actually buy all of the pieces there is fireplace galore in this place and look you guys you actually have access to outside now the house has so much history it was built in i think the 1700s so very very old and you can see that as you walk through they've retained so many of the old traditional features like the huge mantel pieces and everything so the house was owned by a lady called valerie mew who was essentially so ahead of her time she was eccentric she was fun she was very out there and she absolutely loved zebras she rode them instead of horses so there's actually a restaurant on site called the zebra riding club which is an ode to her and her lifestyle and she used to ride these zebras into the center of london that's what she was known for her late husband actually passed away and left her the house and she did so many things with the house you know she looked after people she took people in from the war she was very passionate about world affairs and it just became a hub of humility and a home for so many people and i love that you can see that till this day and how birch has created it to be such a creative hub for all kinds of people to come here and enjoy it so down here there is a really cool surprise i feel love it oh my god okay first of all there is a screening room oh my gosh you guys you can literally sit on the floor i love these deck chairs you can watch movies apparently while the euros were on they were watching football every single match and it got a bit hectic in here but it's so nice i mean again look at the ceiling like look at these ceilings every single place has something to just focus on i love it and again you have outdoor access so you can bring the party outside. All of the members have access to this room. You can come down here as you please, but you can also block it out and have, you know, your own social gatherings with your own people. Look how massive the screen is as well. The blue stairs. This blue is like an electric blue color. It's so deep, it's so cool. I have never <laughs> seen anything like this. Like, look, look at the staircase, guys, it's amazing. There is actually another room here, which can be used as a dining room, a meeting room. You can come in here by yourself and shut the door. It's really quiet and away from the business, which I will show you. The other end of the house is a lot busier than over here. Guys, this mantle is like my dream mantelpiece. It's solid stone. 
it has a mirror which goes all the way pretty much to the ceiling. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. Let's keep moving with that. So this is dedicated to that room for events and soirees and meetings. And it feels like an agent. Like look at this glass feature over here. That's the front of the house where I introduced you guys. So you have lovely light that comes in. It's so cool. I love these I love how they kept everything old. Like look at the flooring. It's cracked, it's worn, but it's so beautiful. so so much light again because we're at the back of the house and there are windows bringing in lots of light i love the pop of color look at this art piece everything is just like i want it in my house i really do all right let's keep going look at the paneling that was the peaceful side i say of the house now this is the more busier social co-working spaces restaurants that kind of thing so it's going to be louder so I'm going to talk over the footage so you guys can get a real good tour. Let's go. Down this dark purple corridor, there is the pottery studio and there's also a games room, which is really cool. And it leads to the bakery, which actually bakes everything for the whole house. And you can actually dine in here as well. How cool are these phone booths? This is where it gets really social. I'm now going to walk you through the Lynx Spa, which is a nice co-working space during the day, but really turned into a fun space at night. Check out this other amazing room that can be used for meetings, events, you name it. And the art everywhere is so vibrant and inspiring. This is the hub. This is where the work and the magic happens. I walked through here and had so many amazing conversations. I saw people on their laptops. It's just so cool, a great space to work. There are little meeting rooms coming off of it for more privacy and more serious meetings. I'm now going to walk you through the grounds. Now off loads of the rooms, there are outdoor terraces and beautiful pockets to chill outside. Let's go. So I'm outside of the house and there is this tippy area that you can actually dine. All you have to do is scan a QR code and whatever restaurant you're ordering from, they will bring your drinks, your food here. How cool is this? I feel like it's giving safari vibes. Eat and get comfortable. Also, it was raining yesterday, so imagine eating here, covered, hearing the sound of the rain, music, good vibes summertime imagine the parties you could have so cool and just here as well there are all these little seating areas so if you wanted something more private more intimate you could sit over there look at the back of this house it's huge not to mention there is another building a couple sporadically placed around the land
this is the Lido where you can have a dip in the pools but you can also eat and have a nice drink as well. I think it's great to have such a place on site especially in summer. There is also a wellness centre where they hold fitness classes and retreats. Welcome to the Ridings. Now you can stay here and it's secluded away from the main house. You can also dine here at the Zebra Riding Club. Oh my goodness you guys, so I'm now in my room and it's huge. It's so lovely, it's so bright as you can see and the views are amazing. And there are a couple of steps here to get into the pink bathroom. This is actually epic. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am in love with the bathroom you guys. Look at the sink area. So we'll go back down the steps and then you have this area here which number one tall mirror a lovely wardrobe cupboard with a safe very nice we have obviously got a nice little accent reading corner area over here and also a hanger for coats and things you turn this way wow like look at this bed first of all how epic are these side lamps dangling from the ceiling and look at the cornice of the ceiling <gasps> and it has spotlight so even distribution of light i love the rattan headboard it's just so minimal and just chill look at the terrazzo side tables here's another angle of the room i love that they've brought plants in here and natural fabrics and tones wow 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 and then let me show you what's going on look at the views enjoyed following me around this amazing property remember all of the details about memberships etc will be in the description down below and when you do come let them know that jay vanderell sent you bye